<sighs> How's everybody doing tonight? Mm. Oh, good. Yeah, Ready good for bed, sleepy. Sounds like everyone's tired. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's been a busy weekend. Busy weekend. Yeah. Cool. Very busy. Very busy. How about you, Ian? Uh, today was pretty lazy. Yesterday was pretty lazy. Sweet. I didn't do much today or yesterday. Yeah, that's all, nice. that's all right. Same here. Nice. Well, Good. we are the Couch Co-Hop Show. You're the greatest beer podcast slash show on the interwebs. Um, I'm Ian. I got Jared, Nick, Dave, and Aaron with me as always. Hey, hey. Hello. Hey. Uh. We're the podcast where we drink a new beer every week, and we tell you what we think about that beer. We take turns picking that beer. You can find our podcast on all the podcast platforms. You can also watch it on Spotify and YouTube. Um, yep. Just search for The Couch Thanks. Co-Hop Show. Um, That's right. And uh, this week, I believe it's Dave's pick. Dave, mm-hmm. what are we drinking tonight? Uh, we're drinking a uh, vomiting space hop. No, no, uh, no, no, no. I would like to say they've gone out of their way in marketing on Facebook to let you know that this is not an artichoke. <laughs> <laughs> really? And it's, okay. and it's like, what? who didn't? Who thought this was an artichoke? Like, you're drinking yeah. a beer, it's clearly yeah. a hop. So, like, I got to yeah, think. Elysian Hi. Space Dust IPA. But, yeah, it does, <laughs> oh. it does look like a really, really happy little hop vomiting some kind of white. Dust, so mm-hmm. and it, it sparkles on most yeah. packages. Yeah, it's, yeah it looks like they're it's, space hops. Yeah. Uh, they, I they, was gonna they, say it's Elysian something. Elysian, <laughs> as we'll learn, is like a some wealthy people started this company. So obviously they sent their hops into space, and then they Ooh, came okay. down raining space dust from the hops. All right, let's pop this open. Let's get this going. Three, right. two, one. <laughs> Poppin'. Oh, Ian's got the bottle. He's serious. I got the mm-hmm. bottle. Well, my choice is oh, a total. Oh, my choice is a jumbo a, can. Yeah, my to, my choices was Aaron, and I didn't want to drink more than a bottle. <laughs> more than. I didn't realize it was eight point two percent until I was just looking at the can earlier. I'm oh, like, that's yeah. that's a pretty heavy. Hey, hey. I'm also drinking it out of an Elysian pint glass. Oh. Oh man! Mm. Well, I, I like how at Fred Meyer I can uh, do a, build a six pack thing. So I just had to grab one bottle of this stuff. Nice. And I bought some other yeah, various my bottles. My Fred Meyer let me do the same thing too, except it was all twelve of them in a box. I'm gonna go for <laughs> the red <laughs> red hook pint glass. Nice. Yeah, I only could find it. Like the only when I found out about it, the only thing I could actually go find was the big boy. At the, the oh yeah, because you had all of four hours to get it. Because <laughs> because Dave's a lazy sod. That smells very mm. hoppy. It doesn't taste. Mine's in a Fort George glass to pay homage to Melita's beverage. I don't think I've ever mm-hmm. had this Elysian beer. I've had a lot of their awful beers, but I've never had this one. <laughs> and this one's actually pretty good. This is not too bad, actually. This is kind of the one they're known for. We also have those contact haze versions. Dude, version, no, that's like that super fuzz you always. Oh see. yeah, the super oh, yeah. fuzz. Yeah, that's the other one. I, and then this, and then day, day, and then all yeah. the fucking pumpkin beers. A lot of pumpkin Ugh. beers. They have a pumpkin beer festival up Ugh, in Seattle so every gross. year. This just, yeah, just this just uh, yeah. tastes malty and strong. <laughs> it's got a hot taste yeah. to it, but it's, I don't. I'm not too keen on mm. the hot taste. I must admit. Yeah, it's more. It's not. It's not. It's more like floral and kind of. It's very floral. No, Actually, no, no, no. I think I prefer that. It doesn't taste very alcoholic to me, though. Oh, no, it doesn't. No. I, w- I wouldn't have guessed it was 8.2%. Oh. So that you know a, bit, a little bit about this brewery, then, Ian? It, Space I, I, Dust I... IPA. The hopping is pure star glow energy with Chinook to bitter and late and dry additions of Citra and Amarillo. Mm, okay, yes. Mm. Um... There's three founders. One of them was a uh, was a uh, what is it here? Well, two of them were home brewers, and one of them was a uh, wholesaler, a, a, a former spirits wholesaler. But one of the brewers was the vice president of Sea First Bank. Huh. Huh. 
Of course. You, so, you gotta have something to do. He was bored. So, uh, get, get the money. Get the money. So then this guy must have, you know, hey, let's put our money together and. Uh, yeah. They opened yeah. a brewery near Gameworks in Seattle. Huh. Back in the day. So, uh. I think 1996 was what I read. Yeah. Um, They've been around that, a long and, time. And that's the game works. It's still around. Well, it was found, at yeah, least it was founded in 95. Yeah. But yeah. What about the beer then? What does everyone think? Uh, oh, they're owned by obviously AB and Bev. Um, I didn't, I learned this. I didn't realize this. I, I learned this though today that if, if, uh, if, uh, if a big beer company buys more than 25% maximum ownership in a craft brewery, according to the Beer Association rules, they can no longer be called a craft brewery. Huh. So Elysian yeah, is no longer... Got upset. Huh. So Elysian is no longer a craft brewery. They're just... Interesting. I, yeah. Yes, and Woodmore took issue with that uh, during... Um, a few years ago during... a. Uh, I think it was one of the uh, Oregon Brew Festivals where they were not invited to come along because they had uh, been either uh, this is before the AB InBev purchase of them, but they were yeah they um, got bought in 2015, so that's when well, Elysian got picked up uh, by InBev. Right? No, I'm saying I'm saying Widmer. Them. I'm. I know I'm tying this. I mean, since AB InBev owns itself, right? Craft breweries, but. Widmer themselves kind of took issue with the fact that if somebody owned a certain number or a certain percentage of them, that they were no longer considered craft, considering they're the pioneer of the Oregon Brew Festival. <laughs> uh, they took issue. With, right. They took issue with the fact that because AB InBev had uh, so before they actually owned them, they had kind of like a minority ownership stake, but it was beyond a certain percentage, and so therefore. Widmore was not considered craft anymore. Oh, oh my were... goodness. I already lost interest in this own yeah, story. Right? But... Uh, so they were really but, popular. Yeah. They won a lot of awards in 1999, 2003, and 2004, but they've pretty much tailed off. I feel like, personally, mm -hmm. I feel like Elysian has just kind of become like a lot of the originators, kind of forgotten or right. just, you know. I don't know. Yeah, so, I think they've so, had a. The... Big push here in Oregon recently because it's I've seen this stuff yeah. around a lot more than you know I than I have. It's in, in a long stores time. in Oregon, not in Washington. Yeah. I haven't seen it anywhere. Mm. Yeah, it was, yeah, I mean only in the last everywhere. six months or a year. But this it big used to be everywhere. It used to be fucking everywhere. Mm -hmm. This big, it's right. really good reviews. But to be quite honest, it's not to my taste. It the malt and the bitterness are just like two separate things. Like oh, the yeah. pininess of it, it's just. And I know these people say, like you say, you can't taste the alcohol, but to me, that's kind of oh, what I'm getting. Yeah, I don't, really, I, I just, don't, I just I feel the the hoppy booze. kind of. I don't really get yeah, the alcohol. I'm, I'm not super keen on like super floral IPAs or anything like that. Sometimes I am, no, but this, not in this case. Yeah, yeah, you, I you can't put a lot this, of them. I can't put my finger on why, like, why I really quite don't like this beer, but there's something about it and the taste tastes, tastes a bit medicine-y the, towards the end. Well, that's space, yeah. Dave. That's yeah. science. Oh, it tastes space. like science. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> Got good burp, though. <laughs> I don't know what their beers are any good. I mean, here's their active beers. Super Fuzz, Dragons, Tooth, Stout, mm -hmm. Space Dust, Men's Room, mm -hmm. Day Glow, The Immortal, Valhalla Red IPA, Wise ESB, Zephyrus Pilsner. Some of these I've never seen. I, I got a bottle yeah. of that stout they have, the Dragon's Tooth one. It's sitting in the fridge right now. Oh. That's not bad. I've had that before. Yeah. And then okay. there's seasonal uh... beers, Beta Blanche, Bifrost Winter Ale, and then fucking all their... Darko the Moon, which is a pumpkin. Great Pumpkin Ale. Night shot. Owl Pumpkin. <laughs> Ugh, a good shot. I usually like their Night Owl Pumpkin. I like that some is pumpkin gross. Oh, God. Yeah, of course you do. Yes. I know you do, Jerry. Yeah, but... I can't believe I got rid of the Avatar one. The Avatar Jasmine IPA. That one was actually pretty good. It was... Oh, they I thought it was pretty good. They didn't even have that one on here. That must be a special oh. one. Yeah, it was... Oh. 
it was limited it was release. a very limited release because it was around for only a couple of years and then they kind of stopped doing it entirely. Oh. I think they also had a peach pumpkin ale that was actually a, would have been a trivia answer if uh, if you couldn't if you could like ale? not puke. <laughs> well, no, it was it was just um, I don't know if uh, you guys were watching the Super Bowl a few years ago where Budweiser came out with uh, this ad that basically it was basically trashing craft brews, but it was right after they acquired Elise uh, this brewery and they kind of mocked uh this style of beer i think with like a peach pumpkin ale um and it was right after they acquired this brewery and this and they had like a peach pumpkin ale and a lot of Funny. people were quick to point out that uh yeah you guys are goofing on something that you just acquired so you guys are fucking ridiculous Idiots. in my yeah, opinion yeah. i feel like yeah. mbev is pulling them in washington to make room for other beers, their other other of their beers, because it's like I don't think Elysian is that popular anymore. So I'm, mm. you know, I that's why I don't think I, I we see it anymore. Or at least up here. Another brewer for Kona, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it makes sense. You buy up a fucking brewery and pull them. They had then... the Elysian uh, mm. like mix pack at Costco. You know that's, that's and then I've seen them quite a lot. Um... Yeah, but Costco's got a lot of space. Yeah, right. I've seen them. I've seen them quite a lot, at, though at the Freds. Like so they space still space. have a. They still have a real Freds. Uh, you know, you, you when you start, you know, like smaller spot, like these mini marts and shit. Like, I mm-hmm. like. Yeah, guys, you, as much. You, Elysian obviously doesn't sell enough to like warrant to put it in these these places. At least not a. Yeah, the, the major packs. I have like the cans, but I swear, I used to. See, I swear, we used to. I used to see it everywhere, especially that super fuzz, that mm-hmm. fucking orange can with the fro and the fuzzy. Mm-hmm. I used to see yep. that everywhere, all the time. Mm-hmm. I like. I, that I didn't even realize it was a seasonal, so like it wasn't. Uh, but it always seemed like it was out year round. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, it's because it didn't. I don't know. I feel like I didn't move as much as my well, spot. Blood Orange so is a awkward. stupid beer idea. And Boneyard, you should get fucking rid of yours because yours is gross too. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what do we think? Yeah, Let's go I, around I, the I, room. I, Jared, what do you think of it? Yeah, it's it's not really for my palate. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting through it, but uh, I'm not really finding much I'm really latching onto to really keep going. It's not bad. Right. It's not terrible or anything like that. It's just like, uh, yeah, it's it's a beer. It's a beer. Nick. I don't fuck about this brewery. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. This is everything that this ticks all the boxes for an IPA. I really don't like. It's too strong. It's too bitter it's too unbalanced it's got weird medicinal taste afterwards it's like yeah mm-hmm. one and done yeah it reminds me of some of like the original imperial ipas and stuff like that we're just yeah. like let's see how much hops we can dump in this thing give me a hot venom and or an imperial fresh squeeze to those are those are much nicer than this yeah. aaron drop it drop it like it's hot it's beer that's all I got. It's beer. It's, it's wet beer. on your tongue. Yeah, it's it's just ugh. it. Honestly, I've had beer that's stronger than this, better than this. Like what? Anything by Boneyard or even that Deschutes Royal Haze, which is pretty tasty. But I've had stronger beer taste, but like anything on Trapdoor, anything above nine percent, that shit is awesome. What the fuck, Elysian? What the fuck? This is me. Like, like I say, this this beer is like has really good reviews. If you look online, it's like four to yeah. four and a half out of five. You I know, think it's Untapped not... is like at an eight percent. Yeah, like eighty percent or some shit. Yeah, I mean, it's like I don't see obviously it. like this. I just don't see why I'd ever want to drink this. It's too strong when it's hot. It's like it's just it's literally winter. I don't beer. like the aftertaste. Yeah. It's so maybe maybe drink it with a spicy meal or something like that. It might be fine, but. Makes me feel uh, better just about some of, alone. some of the IPAs I've brewed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All well, right, well, are everyone is, done with this? Uh, 
No, Aaron's still. No, well, Aaron I'm, got the. I'm, I'm, Aaron got, got the monster. Boy, yeah. Oh, you guys got the big. Aaron's boy. got twenty uh, ounces hey, of this good stuff. All right, Nick, you have know. eleven more of these to go. <laughs> oh, thank fucking god! <laughs> you could have driven up to to Vancouver on that extra ten dollars of, of gas and just bought a single bottle. Whatever, I've got eleven. Um, <laughs> You can give them away more episodes. You can give them away to your no, friends. No, I have eleven more episodes that I can use. Hey, hey, hey! I'll take one of those off your hands, Nick, because I haven't done this beer for Milkman oh, Thinks a Beer. For... But I wasn't okay. gonna fucking buy two because I was pretty sure I. I don't think I've had it before, but then as I drink it, I feel like I have had it before. I don't know. It seem it tastes. I mean, I've, I've you've had I've looked at it and more. I mean, I think I had it. I've, once. I've looked at the bottle and there was just nothing that screams screamed out to me that said buy me. But I mean, it might actually yeah, have artichoke in it. it. I mean, I know they're trying <laughs> to like it. It's not an artichoke, but I mean, it might actually have artichoke in it. Uh, no, it's choking on something, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Ooh. All right, you guys want to rate it? Oh, oh I feel yep. bad. Choking Go for it. Nuts. Go for it. Oh, Aaron's in there. Aaron's in yep. there. Yep. Oh, down. Yeah. Mm. No. Yeah. I don't, Wait, I'm keep sorry. it up, Aaron. Keep it up. I don't, I don't think keep so. Keep it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, this, that's not my palate. Come on, this beer has no redeeming features. <clears throat> I'm angry, but I don't hate it that much. Whoa! All right, I'm gonna go down because I this is half a thumb. Yeah. I don't. Nice. Yeah. I try yeah. to be positive, but I don't really like. <laughs> yeah, it. I think we all try to be <laughs> positive. Even even Nick's being positive with his half a thumb. Yeah, it's it's more like. Halfway. Yeah, I'm probably with Jared. Thumb, I'm probably like there with Jared, but if I'm on, it's if I'm not gonna... up high enough to go up to the side. It's uh, thumbs down for me. I would avoid uh, most this of the couch except cost. for Nick. <laughs> at all so costs. It's not the point. It's I went the worst it. IPA I've ever had, but it. At the same point, it's like I said, it's not a brewery that just... I've ever like sought out or even looked at on the beer shelf and said, I need to try this. But if I, if I walk over to Dave's it, and he has beers and this is the only beer and I'm sober, I'm not drinking it. I'm just going to go buy some cause I can drive to my and get some new beer. If I'm trashed, right. I'll drink it. That's my, that's my yes. review. That's my, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. It's seriously an, drying my mouth out. I bought a mix pack from this brewery. So I've got like two Dude, other ones, which is the contact haze get, and the blood orange. I quite like the blood orange, the contact haze. I really like. So you guys, I think you, I think oh, Elysian is, is yes. a shit brewery and, uh, I hope, I hope InBev just pulls them. <laughs> I feel like I won't be buying any more of their beer. Anyway, so, give them the me, not, not so Ian, you hope they give him the Henry Weinhardt's treatment? Yeah, basically. Let uh, them like let them release their uh, let them release their let them let them release their like dragon's tooth or their super fuzz every once in a while, limited edition. But like their beers as a whole, unneeded. Just keep them at the pub. If people want to mm. go, go to the brewery, brew pub. But I don't think this shit needs to be don't sold. Don't go to the brewery. This shit doesn't need to be. Oh, have you been to the brewery, Aaron? <laughs> anyway, I I went. I went to like Capitol Hill. It was not the best experience I had. Oh well, there you go. Uh, Dave, what vi what awesome video game are you gonna pair this gnarly beer with? Well, now I've actually drunk it. I feel guilty for pairing it with any video game, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I I was gonna go with. Asteroids, because you take big things and make space dust out of them. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, Even out of super stardust, which is basically asteroids, just fans, you know, yeah, better gotcha. graphic. So, yeah. Nice like choice. It. Good choice. All right. Those well, great games. So don't drink. I wouldn't. I would play those games and not drink this beer. So, Aaron, uh, what beer are we drinking next week? We're gonna come down to Oregon. And hopefully this will be a saving grace from this beer to do Solar Cruiser. Hopefully the goddess of brewing, yeah, yeah. the goddess of beer, will save us. Ninkasi. Yeah. We'll see. Don't, yes. don't fail us now, Ninkasi. Ninkasi is usually... Oh, they've been failing lately. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I... But we'll see. We'll get, we'll, to, see. We'll, get, we'll get to that next week. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, that's our episode. Uh, if you guys have been listening and you find us entertaining or stupidly entertaining or you hate us, um, we would really dig a review. You can write a yeah. review on iTunes or you know anywhere. Or you can leave us a voice message and tell us what you think at anchor.fm slash the couch co-hop show. You can just click it. Leave a voice message. It's super fucking cool. And we'll play it. I 100% I hundred percent guarantee if we get a voice message, we will play it. Even if it's just nothing but profanity and I have to bleep it the entire time. Um, you can also recommend a beer. Uh, that would be super you, cool. Um, you can tell us where we can get beers from Uruguay <laughs> yeah, in Uruguay. Washington, Oregon. Uruguay, Uruguay sorry. Uh, let's see. What else? Um uh, anyway, we're on all the pl- uh, podcasting platforms. You can find uh, videos are now available. You can watch video podcast episodes on Spotify, which is super cool and kind of crazy. And then obviously on YouTube, if you go to youtube.com slash Milkman Pictures, you can see all our episodes in video. You can see our brilliance as we you can you can see our face as we drink this beer and be like, Ugh. anyway, you, you, right. that was gross. Um, also, not to mention, you can also see this beer uh, being mixed <laughs> with some other bullshit. Oh, he, oh, so in the future, he's teasing it. So, uh, yes, I do other <laughs> beer videos plug. with some people, and uh, Doctor Bistro up mm-hmm. here, Beerstro up here. I do. Uh, he does mixing mm-hmm. beers. He mixes. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see what he mixes. This hopefully something sweet. Kind of pick this up. Maybe you could find something. This is good. I mix it with gasoline just Ooh. to put an end to it all. <laughs> Wait, what? Light it on uh-huh. fire. Like you'd really have to yeah. add something to this. Yeah. Well, that can be the the post credits uh, scene. Anyway, uh, I'm Ian. I want to thank Jared, Nick, Dave, and Aaron for joining me here on the couch. Always. I want to thank Jared Aaron. for being uh, doing a tribute to "Are You Afraid of the Dark." <laughs> uh, they made a reboot of that yeah. series, by the way. Uh, for couch co hop, <laughs> I'm Ian. And, and from uh, the approval of. Uh, some secret society that I can't remember. Oh that my name. god! <laughs> the couch beer co-hop excellent with everybody. beer, excellent in a car, fast mm. or not? <laughs> Probably not. No, Probably not. don't do not. that in a car with beer. Don't not listen to idea. milkman down there. Don't listen. <laughs>